happened was that um, uh, Q1 was pretty normal. They knock out the sort of six or seven, six um, racers off the back, and you know all the sort of usual heads. But the difference between Q2 and Q3 was was interesting because there were a number of people who just didn't make it in, uh, notably uh, Sebastian Vettel and Jensen Button. Yeah, and. Perhaps the reason was, well, first of all, it started to rain going into Q2, which was just wonderful because then it was, uh, I don't know, the second time it dropped down. Yeah, they're like people were panicking, trying to get their hot laps out. Um, and what happened was around the end of uh, Q2, so for those who don't know, there's like a dropout system where if you're not in the top 10, if you're not in the top, it's early. I think it's 16 Four. in Three. for Q3 and Q2, Two. and then it's uh, maybe it's 17, top 17 Beware. cars. Forgive me, audience. Um, and then for between Q2 and Q1, it's top 10. Right. If you're in the top 10... Only the, only the top 10 move on to Q3. Yes, three. Q3. So they didn't make it. And perhaps the reason why, although Vettel apparently had engine problems, we found out later, was that Kimi Raikkonen crashed on the... Uh, I think it was like turn 8, maybe. Um, he went into a wall, caused the yellow flag, which means that the cars need to slow down to caution. Huh. Uh, and it happens maybe... 20 seconds ahead of uh, Vettel and he had to slow down to not significant uh, significantly enough for a lap, for a qualifying lap put it that way right. um, and he didn't make it in and neither did Button so the top 10 ended up being uh, Bottas, Massa, Kvyat, Hulkenberg Verne, Alonso, Magnussen, Rosberg Ricardo, and Hamilton from uh, 10 to 1 uh, yes and that is a interesting top That's 10. That's a really, yeah. If you were watching last year's season, there was a lot of young names. There's a lot of first, time, like, Bottas was just his second season. Um, that was awesome for him to get in. Kevin Magnussen qualified in the McLaren in fourth. It was his first race. Yeah, like, that's that really was, cool. He's a rookie. And also, I heard them say uh, his dad, Jan Magnussen, mm. um, was an F1 driver. And uh, Kevin qualified higher than his dad ever did really yeah <laughs> already his dad never started higher than fourth and here oh, is kevin's first race <laughs> that sucks <laughs> poor <laughs> guy uh, and the other thing was that uh kobayashi um got into q2 and he i don't think he'd done any practice or like <laughs> he had like a problem with his car and had done nothing uh -huh. but still managed to get into q2 great uh although felipe massa probably wished that he hadn't <laughs> <laughs> um We'll get into that in a bit. But what happened basically at the end of qualifying was that Daniel Ricciardo, who is the replacement Red Bull driver for Mark Webber, he is another Australian, uh -huh. um, he got into Q3. Vettel didn't. Riding, same car. Obviously, Vettel had, had engine problems and what happened with, with Raikkonen. Uh, but Ricciardo was setting good times all through qualification um, in the Red Bull, which if anyone was watching pre-season practice um, or indeed the practice sessions over the weekend was interesting because... Surprising. Yeah. People thought that Red Bull were properly down the pack, like seven or eight. Um, and what happened basically was on the final lap, so what happens is if you cross the line before the countdown, because it's a countdown timer um, in Q3 ends, then you can finish that lap. Right. And then when you cross the line, that's, you know, once it hits zero, you're done. Um, so what's always interesting in, in the end of Q3 is that the checker flag goes, hits zero, and all the cars that are left are coming in. And that's the last time. The cameras just watch the line, watch everyone come across and see where they all land. So Ricardo basically pipped pole position on his last lap and the crowd went crazy. Like they were screaming for him as he came around the corner. Mm -hmm. And when he crossed the line, it comes up on the screen and they all went crazy. And he looked up, you could see, and he uh -huh. was like, you know, yeah. In the same way that when Vettel crossed the line at the end of Q2 and didn't make it into the top 10, he looked up at the screen, the crowd saw that he didn't, and screamed like, <laughs> yes, you know, which is kind of mean. Yeah. I think they're just screaming for the changes in F1. They're like, yeah. this is a new era or whatever. And he looked up and he like pounded his wheel. Like he was, you could see he was like, hmm. he, he was physically angry. So Ricardo crossed the line, pole position, place went crazy. And then they're like, it kind of dumbed down because they saw Hamilton coming. Oh on the last couple of turns and then there's like silence 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 and he's like they're also kind of clapping a bit and he crosses the line pips him by I think it was yeah almost a full second like eight hundredths of a second oh wow eight, yeah. that much uh, no no sorry eight tenths of a second okay like, almost, a, almost a full second um, and the whole base just went oh like <laughs> you can hear all the people do it and it was awesome and I was thinking yeah, yeah I know you can't you know the cars That's aren't good. as loud but that was that was a really cool 
thing to hear. Yeah. I was into it. So Hamilton started a poll.